A very good evening to you. We're live in Tel Aviv on a significant day in the war between Israel and Hamas. A planned pause in fighting in Gaza came into effect early this morning. A temporary ceasefire lasting initially four days, allowing some hostages out as well as aid into the territory. Now these are some of the 13 Israeli hostages, women and children, who were given their freedom in the last few hours. They made their way to Egypt through the Rafa crossing in southern Gaza and on to Israel. One can only imagine the scenes as they were finally reunited with their loved ones. Well, in the next few days, a total of 50 Israeli hostages are expected to be released as part of the deal to continue the pause in the fighting. And in return, over in Ramallah, in the West Bank, 150 Palestinians held by Israel will be released, starting today with 39 women and teenage boys. Well, this is the scene live in Gaza tonight, where the ceasefire seems to be holding, with much-needed aid arriving throughout the day. Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry now says more than 14,000 people have been killed during Israeli bombardments, a military offensive that began, of course, after 1,200 people were murdered and around 240 hostages were taken by Hamas seven weeks ago tomorrow. Hamas is designated as a terror organization by the UK government. Our first report tonight is from Orla Geary. After dark, a convoy of vehicles crossing from Gaza into Egypt. A glimpse of the hostages inside on the road to freedom. A number were neighbors in the same kibbutz. Their ordeal lasted almost 50 days. Among those freed, a mother and daughter, seen here in a family birthday video. Amelia, in blue, is six years old. She and her mother, Danielle, now back on home soil. Also freed, Margalit, a cancer survivor, who loves knitting sweaters for her grandchildren. And in the heart of Tel Aviv, a time for celebration. Many Israelis feel connected to the hostages. Their faces have been everywhere for six weeks. There's collective relief that at least some have been freed. But for others, the waiting continues. A circle of women singing and remembering. They are friends and relatives of Itai Svirsky, taken by Hamas from a kibbutz near the Gaza border. They know he won't be home soon. For Itai's cousin, Naama Weinberg, mixed emotions today. When I will see the, those hostages back here in Israel, I will be very happy for their families and for them but I'm very happy for them, really. But we also need to remember that it's only the beginning and 12 or 13 hostages that will be released today, hopefully, and uh, 50 total in the next four days is, is less than a quarter. In Gaza, streets bustling once again after the ceasefire took effect. Families going to look for food or check if their homes are still standing. Many here are hoping there will be peace for longer than four days. We hope the ceasefire will be extended, says Umm Muhammad. Today is the first day we woke up without bombing, without being terrified with nothing to fear. Aid trucks are finally reaching Gaza. Hundreds will go in each day while the ceasefire lasts. But both Israel and Hamas are warning the truce is temporary. Orlegir and BBC News, Tel Aviv.